this week, I want to show you how you can have a team working for you while you nap. You may have heard Bill Mollison say, you don't have a slug problem, you have a problem of a lack of ducks. True. The same thing could be said, you don't have a caterpillar problem, you have a lack of birds. I want to show you this week how Team Bird works in the permaculture orchard to solve that problem. You may have heard the expression, if you build it, they will come. I think it was in a movie somewhere. Well, the same thing applies for your orchard or your garden. If you build it, I mean the orchard planting or the fruit tree planting in trios. Take a look at that video, trios. Then the birds will come and this week, I want to introduce you to my team bird who takes care of my caterpillar problems so I can continue to enjoy the nap system of trios. Now, on the first line, we've got the fly catchers. These are really important because they catch the adult versions before they lay eggs and become caterpillars, like this least fly catcher. Then you get the eastern kingbird. And all these look for perches. Here's a typical place where an eastern kingbird would nest in the orchard on a horizontal branch. Couldn't quite get a view inside to show the eggs. Horizontal branches are very important. The last flycatcher is the great crested flycatcher with its characteristic weep weep call. Now, let's get into other aerial hunters that catch insects. So here we have tree swallows. They're also on the first line since they catch the adult versions again before they can lay eggs, which will become caterpillars. So tree swallows nest in the smallest nest boxes. One of the curious things is to see them mating at this late period that usually means they lost their first clutch and they're just going to lay a second clutch. At the same time, some tree swallows had young that are just about ready to fledge. You can tell the difference. Here is a female with a much browner back and a male with its brilliant blue plumage. Eastern bluebirds have always nested in our orchard. This one is obviously nesting and it'll take many trips to fill its nest box. They'll always be very cautious when they leave, make sure the coast is clear. They don't want to show predators that this nest is active. House sparrows are not disparaged. We want to have house sparrows nesting. And so these nest boxes are gladly given to house sparrows. If you ever have a problem with them fighting, you just don't have enough nest boxes. So all those birds use the smallest hole, inch and a half nest box. And then this would be a two inch hole nest box. And we also have a three inch hole nest box for kestrels and owls the smaller owls. Squirrels as well will use these. On the second line you'll have any bird that's nesting that is looking to feed its young with caterpillars. In this case house wren. They'll voraciously capture anything that's abundant including caterpillars and you'll typically see a nest with branches A 
another caterpillar hunter, the song sparrow, like most birds, feeds their young with whatever is most abundant. Now, you don't expect a robin to be hunting caterpillars. You expect them to hunt for worms. Well, they do. They'll take whatever is abundant and they nest right on the building. Here are caterpillar specialist, the warbling vireo. Glad to have him. Again, an horizontal branch. I can't help but listen to the Baltimore Oriole. They round out the second line of birds that capture caterpillars to feed their young. We always keep a couple of feeders for black sunflower seed going. We'll get birds all year round, in this case a juvenile or a female American goldfinch. People have called this one the wild canary. It's the adult male American goldfinch. He loves black sunflower seed and also niger seed. Purple finch on the left and house sparrows will also use the feeder. Like all seed-eating birds, and you can tell seed-eating birds by their cone-shaped bills, they will eat seeds but usually feed their young with insects or caterpillars. The third and final line of defense are your birds that will overwinter in the orchard capture the wintering version of caterpillars while they're in their cocoons. These are birds like this white-breasted nuthatch, chickadees also, and woodpeckers. So to summarize, you'll typically have three lines of defense. Your first are the ones that capture the adult versions. The second line are those that capture the caterpillars to feed their young. And the third line are the ones that overwinter and capture the wintering versions of the caterpillars. So if you like this video, please subscribe and get the film, The Permaculture Orchard Beyond Organic. It will allow you to see from beginning to end how to set up your own, more details about the bird, especially their nest boxes and what birds it will attract so that you can get your own team bird taking care of your caterpillars and enjoy more nap time because your nap system is giving homes and setup and structure to your team bird. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Hey, please subscribe and check out our latest video. This week we looked at Team Bird. In an upcoming video, I want to introduce you to Team Wasp. I love these guys. They're a great team as well.